what, what I'm saying is, it's, it complements me as being a kind of a, so you see, you often do this, you see, you often do this, you often do this, you often do this, I find that, uh, is the way is many people see me as having that issue. Uh, certainly, I think so. So, I mean, that's, oh, there's that's, no question about it, really. Yeah. I mean, you see what's here and what, yeah, what was here, that's what or mean. what wasn't here. Well, it's great, that's the great part of this. Yeah. Um, can you take your glasses off? Yeah. Now, um, well, where shall I come? Are you sitting where I am? Yes, that's fine. Yeah. We'll change over in about half an hour. Uh, yeah. uh, Colin, I'd like you to just to turn it around at, at one stage. Colin, would you like him to turn it around? A video um, camera like this. And I normally go all around the subject. Yeah. Um, it's not a good view of the You've got to capture all kinds of moods. But the normal moods is just not good. Smugness. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it, there's a softness which you might think is not to be seen. I think it's very nice. It's in the car, it's in the black. You know, explaining something, you know, it's, it's important to get it as well. Mm. <coughs> Ah, sorry. Shall I look at the... Yes, fine, fine. Head back a little bit, actually. Yes. Yeah, my stuff, not too much. Is that all that? Yes, that's fine. It's a good, good reference point. Um, the phys physical muscles, I suppose, in, in your chest, yeah. in your breathing apparatus. You have to. It is in itself, it is exercise. And the long period of standing, too, is a lot of Yeah. And the movement back and forth. Yes. It's yeah. very demanding. Very demanding, yeah. I suppose, and that's why you uh, develop um, the strength to do it. I really can't think of the name of an artist whose drawing stood out so well. He afterwards um, he went to the West, Jewish also, and um, he became very famous in America. How did he name? A Russian. A Russian. Yeah. He, was, he, was, he was one who dared to be different, even under the communists. He dared to be different. And, um, of course, they despised his work for not conforming to their theories of, um, what's right, yes, uh, you know, social. And doing their diploma, ten of them all in the same room, ten pieces of sculpture, all absolutely identical. Must have been the same place. Because yeah, I went there to buy. Diverge from the measurement by even one centimeter. And that was... I'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Serious trouble. <laughs> Put me in the madhouse. <laughs> and 
there was no, no, no point in, in talking to them and telling them, look, we must change this classical thing. Oh, it has stood us in very good stead for the last 200 years, or whenever St. Petersburg was founded. It has stood us in very good um, stead, and we're not going to change it. Um, yeah. But then we said, look, here you are now, you have no schools of design. I think there was one school of design that I'm talking about three years ago in the whole of Russia. And it was not, it had nothing to do with visual arts, with the fine arts. And we said, look, if you ever want to become uh, market conscious, you've got to teach design in the very same location as, yes. as you teach uh, uh, painting and sculpture. Fine art. Uh, Oh, no, 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 we don't want to. That's an applied art. It's, it's uh, not, not of the same standard as real, fine art. Anyhow, we had our speak. That was it. <laughs> this was now at a meeting in the, at the Ministry of Culture. We were trying to persuade them that their design was plain bad. I showed them a cup. I said, look at this. Look at this cup. If I fill this with uh, hot coffee or tea, see what I have to do? To bring it to my lips, I have to burn my other fingers. The difference between good design and bad design is that I'd like you to think of the um, Italian car. Oh, what is it? No, the, the Italian sports car. Get the name. Sports car. Yeah, Ferrari. Uh, yeah, the, the, you mentioned a specific one. Maserati. Maserati. The, yes, he, I see, he said, look at the Maserati. And look at your ladder. And just think of the difference. Why is it that the Maserati is so good and the ladder is so bad? <laughs> I mean, the, they, they, they listen, they listen all that. Yeah. Some of them smile yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, they said, you know, in, under the communists, when we designed the car, it took 10 years from the date of design to the date of production. Yeah. yeah. And that's why our cars are so antique in the Western world. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's not just that. It's just that the, uh, us, the Italians allow their creative flair yeah. to show. You don't allow it. Well, there's life. There's, there's life and there's creativity, which has to have a certain amount of freedom. It's the ability to grant the freedom which governments have to learn. Yes, yes. Sometimes, possibly, nearer at home. Here. Yes. <laughs> That's I'm, uh, I'm being recorded. <laughs> right now. <laughs> But needless to say, we didn't make any converts. We had met at least we were told what seemed to us to be the truth. Yeah, the Russian design, you can't think of one thing which yeah, is certainly is not the domestic design. It's a, crea a piece of good creation for this century. Not since 1917. No. Everything froze in 1917. Yeah. Yeah. Including the modernistic movement in the big two. The Russians yes. had to go abroad. To give us great painting after that. Yes, yes. And here they were with probably the most magnificent collection of impressionist paintings outside of France. And even. Did you go to the Hermitage? I owe you. What a place. They didn't know what they'd got. No, but they looked after you well. You have to oh, they know. And I think the museum itself is. Oh. I used to go in there every afternoon because I did his head in the morning and watched some of the classes he gave till lunchtime, and then I'd clear off to the Hermitage about six times. And even then, I only scratched the surface. They reckon you need something like six months there to see all the exhibits. It's the Rembrandts. Where are the Rembrandts? And you see, we were deprived of the, the view of them for so long. We were deprived of, we didn't even have good reproductions of what they had in there. Because, of course, these, these were confiscated from many of the princely mansions around St. Petersburg and Moscow. Yes, particularly yeah. St. Petersburg. Now, they, had, they had great taste, these old 
broke the old Russian law they were It was amazing what they collected in France. I had the great pleasure of um, a symphony conducted by First time in St. Petersburg. I believe he had done it at the Kremlin earlier with live camera. But um, on this occasion, they allowed him to use the Russian army and choir. Oh, yeah, probably a brilliant choir. Oh, absolutely. And uh, then, oh, it, it was, it, the whole thing was a very moving uh, experience. And to, to see also the communist city was to move from the hall. And um, the, uh, well, the Russian flag was, was there on the street. Of course, it was this contrast between the Marseillaise and, well, well this the Tsar. Yes. Um, and then gradually leading to the Yan. Just at that moment, when he arrived at the climax, then they unfolded the banner at the back of the stage. And it was the, 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 the Madonna. Yes. In other words, Christianity had won it again. The risen. Yes. 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 It, was, it, was, it was extremely moving. Mm -hmm. And even that old pagan who was sitting beside me, you could see the Tears in his eyes. Um, yeah. the, the one who was my host. Yes. <laughs> very interesting. Very very. Um, the added um, uh, I can't remember his name. But we used to we talked a lot, and uh, he said, "Brown, call me Brown. I want you. I want to to introduce you to Mother Sophia." So who is Mother Sophia? She's always oh, a she's the mother abbess of the convent. And why she spent on liturgy. Uh, so I said, you your daughter what are the age your daughter baptized her? Twenty-two. He said, she was baptized at twenty-two. Yeah. Is that after the after the communists? Yeah. Oh, said, very interesting. She wanted to be baptized. I said, did you attend the baptism? Of course I did, he said. <laughs> 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 so it was just a bit strange. Yes. And yet in, in, in the next... About, um, just around Christmas time, knowing about the hardship there. Yes. I haven't had a response yet, but I'm, I'm sure it would have got to <laughs> Well, the, um, the ambassador here is a, is a great character to me. The Russian ambassador. Here? Yes, in Singapore. Ah. Belly, Belly. I hope he'll probably come for this handing over ceremony on Friday night. He comes from every day. I wonder if he knows of Musin. Musin. Ilya Musin. I should hope so. I'm really If he comes to right. his living in Daxan. Because Musin taught a lot of um, people who've since done quite well in the West. Um, I can't remember any of that I can't names. I'm the same as you as far as language is concerned. You can't. Um, these things are, are they always come afterwards. Yeah. Which is what you were um, telling me earlier this morning about the yeah, <laughs> trying to the memory exercise. Um, Sean Edwards is now leader of the, um, the English Opera Company. Yes. But there's um, Bishkov, you probably don't know. It's I quite a big name in, in Europe, Bishkov. He was one of his students. He's done, of course, all his life, and he's been a teacher. He's written um, several books on the art of conducting, which are, are really seminal pieces. Um, 
and explaining the Russian way of conducting, which is subtly different. Um, if an English conductor goes, well, certainly in the past, used to go to Russia and try and conduct a Russian orchestra used to Russian conducting, at first there'd be total chaos because they, they, I don't know whether they, they use the offbeat or, or they start slightly behind, but there's a different technique and uh, it's only now that I suppose it's been um, yes, understood properly. But um, he's a great teacher. I don't know whether I think Martin Rattle was there, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Nakia, if Alan or Brian or both or even Joseph, if they'd like to see this thing nearing completion, uh, perhaps uh, ask them, uh, tell them that it would be a nice time for them to, if they were free, just to drop in for a minute. Or um, the English chap, Mike. And, 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 oh, he has gone. And, yeah. And, and Michael, Michael Field also. Just, just let them know that this is at a uh, stage now where it could be viewed with, uh, well, with pleasure and with humor and cynicism if they want. Perhaps let them know. But it's just seeing Rostropovich in action. And in fact, he played the cello at one stage in the afternoon. Really? It's wonderful. I forget the name, right? Is it Rostropovich? Well, we, we call it Rostropovich. Rostropovich, so, um, I'm, I'm sure that's the correct. This, this other guy, Leonid Makarchenkov. Yes, I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, he's the Ministry of Culture. Mm -hmm. Great character. He's the one who taught me how to drink vodka. Well, they all like to teach you that, don't they? That's an excuse for them to drink. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I was, I've had the old session. Yeah. Well, my son, um, once I, I met him in Helsinki, he was working and studying in St. Petersburg, and we met in Helsinki. And he brought with him a bottle of vodka and three or four bottles of Russian champagne. And he said, you, you meant to mix it. <laughs> yes. So we did. <laughs> we became like children. <laughs> we went to a playground and we were on the swings. <laughs> this is in a small village outside Helsinki. Oh, and, yes. and during the swinging, the key put from America, obviously, yes. as a bastion against Russia. Mm -hmm. Coming on. It's, um, it's not a. It's not a um, typical official Russian. Oh, no, it's not portrait. It's, it's, um, it's probably extremely rude and. <laughs> no, I don't think they even consider it rude. It's, it's, it's Here's, here's the other brand coming. Musical brand. Oh, we're quite used to it. <laughs> 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 
Has that video got voice recorded? He comes to London regularly now and gives master classes oh at the Royal Academy. Amazing. Amazing. Now, you, you have a photograph of the uh, of the photo. I haven't got it here. here. But I'll bring it in because yeah. I did a good hand. Yeah. There's a copy in the Royal Academy of Music in London and the Conservatory in St. Petersburg. Oh my gosh, how so, wonderful. And he's got a bronze as well. Oh. Have you found it, though? Fabulous. I think it's great. It's definitely Joseph McNally <laughs> because it's one that catches so much of your features. It's great. That's what happens. It's beautiful, Brian. Oh, thanks. Oh, it really is. I think you put a bit more eyebrows on it, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> more wicked aspect. Absolutely. <laughs> But it's like, I know a secret, I'm not going to tell you sort of what this one is. <laughs> yes, it's a bit naughty. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. The, the, the twist on the I lips. I think you're going to get that out of my lips, exactly. <laughs> Gosh. But I, I'm, I'm very excited, Brian, about this. Well, I must say also that you look so at home having your bath done. It's wonderful. Oh, it's from a city bag, a great life. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and like, under instruction, right? Not to move. <laughs> No, no, he tells me to move when we, we talk to really okay. and uh, moves me around from one side to the other. It's unlike when you're painting a portrait, uh, um, a two-dimensional portrait. You look like you're in first class deck chair on an ocean liner sitting there like that. It's very easy but to leave. I am wearing <laughs> clothes, you notice. <laughs> yes, but you put your beautiful black shoes outside the door, I also. Oh, know. yes, you like those shoes. Yes, too. I thought you should wear those on I Friday think. night. They're very elegant. <laughs>